you don't have to click this waypoint. But now, when you enter to a when you enter Act Three, you gotta continue your path towards Enlightenment, which would be forward. And when you encounter a girl that is chained to a post, stand and help her. Because if you don't, you won't be able to continue. Here, there it is. Defeat the guards. Once you do, she's gonna stand up. And you have to talk to her. And she's opening the door to City of Sarn. And I need to buy a better darn flask. Okay, Sarn. Once you get to the Sarn encampment, it's a long way to people. You can see, like, a long way to people. Don't go all the way to people you don't need to. You can literally just go here. Act 3. Let's go. So you go to the slums immediately. You don't go to talk to villagers, whatever. You want to find a gate. That's basically locked. There we go. Sewer grating. It's locked because you need a key. After you find the gate, remember where it was. It's important for later. You continue on your way to find all the dead ends you can possibly find. And then if you don't find dead ends, you will find crematory. Never mind. You'll find another dead end. Uh, you'll find crematorium. That's what you need. That crematorium is the area that you'll need. Now, in crematorium, you're going to find something good, which is piety that you will have to kill. Well, shoo away. And she will drop a key. Well, she will show dead Tolman, but drop a key. Okay, there we go. Crematorium. Let's go in. There is a waypoint immediately upon entering. And now we are trying to find Labyrinth Trial and Piety. Now, neither of those two are difficult to find. Here's a lab. If you hear the cries of anguish, yes, people are getting tortured here. It's fine. Actually, that's not people. That's Tolman that's being tortured right now. Um, by the time you get to him, he's dead, so don't don't worry about him, you won't be able to save him. So you pick up the trial, you click the portal, there we go. Hello, DFG. Hi. You could have asked that. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the welcome to the stream. Mm, do I go the opposite way? I mean dead end? Hello. Okay, no, we don't go the opposite way because dead end. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Dink. So should be this way then. Yes. Okay, piety soon. TM. I hope. No, dead end. Okay, cool. So how are you doing? See so your first time here, so welcome. Huntress, there she is. You are beatific because you answer to no one. And that's why no one will miss you. Okay. Oh, yes. My mana is gone. Can I please just toss this Enough garbage? This. There we go. She's done. And now we click Tolman, pick up bracelet, go to character selection, go back in, talk to his girlfriend. Clarissa. She's gonna give us Watch keys. Yourself. And now we go to that grate. By the way, if you find this a little bit weird that I'm doing right now, DFG, or if anyone else joins, um, this is basically me doing a recording for for PoE for Dummies guides that I basically make on YouTube for PoE players. For beginners, actually. Okay, sewer is perfect. Now I can do this. Yes. Now that I did that, I can actually do this. Okay. First things first. In the sewers, we're trying to find some busts. Three busts. I'm not up to that just yet. But we're first trying to find every dead end we possibly can. And that's the exclamation mark. 
And those are the stash piles. So that's one stash pile. The first one is always at the beginning. The second one is like midway through. And the third one is at the end of the zone. Okay. There we go. Boop. That's locked. We get here. Don't forget to pick up this waypoint. Important for later. That's the second one. Second bust. And the third bust is at the exit of the zone, basically. There's also a hideout here, so there we go. That's the third one. And you can just continue down the path to find another dead end. Never mind. Well, it's towards the exit of the zone, let's let's say it like that. Uh, let's actually do it, do this, so I want to get more extra damage. Because I don't think I'm gonna die that easily. Don't I already have one? No, I don't. Okay, cool. There we go. That's the hideout. You can enter there and you can grab the Undercity hideout, which is basically this hideout. Okay. Level these up. Again, a dead end. I love this. And boom. Marketplace. Now, in the marketplace, this is where things become a bit more complex. Before that, I want to pick up Leech's Instant. Yes. Oops. Uh, now, in the marketplace, we have two places to go through. So, we want to go right or left, depending on what you prefer. So, go right. And you want to get to... The waypoint. Once you get to the waypoint, you can get to the catacombs. Catacombs are there. For catacombs, you have a trial inside. So I recommend doing it immediately upon finding it. There's nothing else here to do. Just the trial. So I'm going to try to find the trial. And uh, what the hell was going on there? I was blocked. Interesting. Okay. Mm, that's the end thing. No. I missed it again. Yay. That's my favorite. There it is. There's the trial. You enter the trial. I'm not up to that just yet. This one is just a simple walkthrough, nothing else. You go click the lever, you dash over the things, pick up the crafting recipe, that's it. Get the plaque, portal, and leave. Now in the Sarn encampment, waypoint, marketplace. And continue on. And just continue on. We're gonna give in quests after the marketplace. We're trying to find... Was it the battlefield or what's it called? Or Quay. Okay. There we go. So this is the ornate chest. It's close to the battlefront. So the ornate chest is for another quest. You click it, you pick it, the counter spiritus, and you go to battlefront. Once you're in the battlefront, you will spawn relatively close to a waypoint. I think. Should be when you when you follow like the, the path onwards, just or not. Okay. Never mind. Battlefront has three three things to go. You can just continue going like uh, west and you will find a waypoint. Next to the waypoint, you will find an exclamation mark, blackguard chest, ribbon spool. You go back to the waypoint, you go back to the town. Now, multiple things. Because we opened up the path to town 1. Why does this load for this long? You want to go to act 1, the way forward quest, go to Lionize Watch, go to Tarly. Uh, Tarly? Tar? No. Bestel. Bestel, pardon. Bestel, talk to him, get a passive skill point, boom, done. Now, check if there's anything Act 2. There's not nothing Act 2. Act 3, go to town, talk to the NPCs, 
and then continue on your adventures. So let's talk to Grigor first. Goodbye. Find the tomb of the Gemling Queen. Can't see why talk to Maramoa. You pick up your, your gem, whichever one you, you'd like. Why are you still standing there? Talk to Hargan. He's going to give you Book of Skill for all the quests that you have completed so far. Now, Don't do anything activate those. That's fine. Go back to Battlefront. Um, can I open up the, the lab now? Uh, no, so it's not yet done. Good. I need to check because lab stays um, active even if... Um, like even if you've done it with with a different character, it keeps it keeps being active. Okay, so I'm going to go with uh, critical strike. Ch oh no, actually attack speed with bows. There we go. Now two things. One, you can go straight north from the uh, from the waypoint. You will get to the docks. Docks has multiple things. Docks has fair graves. Number one. Number two has something flammable. I'm not up to that just yet. Some some other thing. It has a waypoint. Waypoint next to next to fair graves though. Okay. Wait. There we go. Noticed my damage getting lower. I pressed a, a different cooldown. Oops. There we go. So it has one, which is supply container, which has thomatic sulfite, which you are going to need later on to burn that uh, locked place. It has fair graves, if I manage to find it before getting stuck seven times. Oh, there he is. So fair graves. This is why flame dash is a really cool skill. You can only get flame dash if you are sork or um, if you got to act three. But just get it as a sork. Waypoint. You can talk to fair graves. You don't have to. He's just going to tell you to find the plum because he he likes to eat plums. Now we go back to the battlefront. Now we go to the top right side of the battlefront to get to a temple. You're going to notice the temple by people fighting with the flags. And once you get there, Solaris Temple, we want to get to the end of Solaris Temple. That's our main goal. Follow the red carpet, basically. You, you just literally have to follow the red carpet. That's all that you need to do. I, I looked at, at, at the screen and just missed the carpet. Anyways. You'll find the waypoint, like, legit on the carpet as well. Well, next to. There we go. There's the waypoint. Boop. You continue from the waypoint, but still following the carpet. There's two bosses here that you can kill. Extra experience. Never hurt anybody. Still follow the carpet. It's a long zone, I know. Sometimes the carpet is misleading. Then you go go back and you follow the other route. And you find the Solaris Temple level 2. <laughs> Same strategy applies in Solaris Temple level 2. Where am I? I am in Act 1, 2, 3. That's fine, okay. So we take a point. Good. So I'm top right, so you still follow the carpet. As I said, keep in mind, carpet is misleading sometimes. I'm not up to that just yet. Mew. This is where you'll you'll start seeing first four links and so on, and vendor four links and whatnot. Always follow the carpet. Then you go to the Ala, you talk to her. If you have the thematic soul fight, she's going to give you a necklace. That's fine. And she's going to give you infernal talk. Now, go to Eternal Lab here and 
don't have to click the reverie device, but there is a... Oh, there you go. Crafting recipe that you want to pick up. Once you pick it up, log out, log in. And now, because we have the Infernal Talc, now we want to use... Now we want to use the Infernal Talc in the sewers, where we go back... As I said, this one is important. We go back, we click the Undying Blockage, and we carry on. Yeah, but the barracks. This one has multiple ways to go as well. And multiple things. I'll show you how I like to do it. Waypoint. And then immediately go right. And down. <coughs> and more down. Or was it down, down that far? No, it wasn't down that far. Pardon? It was right and then up. My bad. As I said, I make mistakes. Still both leveling. I, I really dislike leveling. Anyways, uh, right and then a little bit My up, you get sword. to the Imperial Gardens. That's what I like to do first. So from Ebony Barracks, I like to go to the Imperial Gardens to then go farther on. Because this one is not open yet. Now, here we have multiple things. There's a lab, there's a waypoint, there's plum, and there's a library. And there's also one more thing later on, which is going to be the path to Dominus. But you follow one side, always follow one side, don't go zoom, zoom, zimmy, zoom, whatever. Follow one side until you find either the plum, or the waypoint, or the lab, or you'll find library before the lab. There we go. Or you can find uh, the big boy. There we go. There's the there's the waypoint. Now from waypoint, continue going the same thing. Go one side. Always go one side. This this map is huge, by the way. There we go. That's the door for the continuation. You'll need a key for this lock door. Then you carry on. You now follow the rest. You always go around the, the map. You don't need to do anything else. You just need to go around the map. So now from the waypoint in this specific one, we go north. Given me so much. What can I do for you, Rayclast? Okay. And here's the lab. Trial. This one is pretty straightforward. Ascendancy. Click portal. That's it. On the side where the lab is, is library as well. But we won't enter the library immediately. So here's the library. We won't enter it immediately because we haven't picked up the plum. The plum is needed for Mr. Fairgraves. Now, the plum is south here of the waypoint. So, plum is in this unexplored area. So, they are basically all in corners. Like, far corners. There it is. There is the plum. You can pick up the plum and you can kill the, the unique enemy that, that is going to pop here. Which is, there it is. Conqueror's Worm. Pick it up, kill it, that's fine, carry on. Now go back to... If you want to save time, you can um, log out, log in, and, and whatnot. It's fine. Okay, now we go back to the library. You can, of course, leave this after the library, but whatever. However you'd like to do. Library. Now, in library, we are looking for two things. One, waypoint. Two, a loose candle. On the wall. It's literally called a loose candle, I think. So we are looking for a room that has a loose candle. Or you can get lost. As Heavy does quite often. What? That room is usually found after the waypoint in Siosa, but it might happen that it isn't. Okay. There we go. There's Siosa. You pick up the waypoint. You talk to Siosa. You don't have to. 
he's gonna give you a, a quest to find four golden pages. And now we are looking for that room with a loose candle. Drink. Okay, I'll go more, more south. And there it is. Loose candle. That's how it looks. Loose candle. You click it, it's going to open the doorway. And we go to the archives. Archives, four corners, four pages. Straightforward. Start with one side and just carry on. Book stand. There you go. Boom. One. Next. Book stand. Two. Next. Okay. Oh, we went full itself. Oof, this might have been bad. Or not. There we go. Book stand three. Sometimes they are really far. Sometimes they are not. Once you find the fourth one, you can log out safely. Logout is basically instead of using your portal scrolls. Okay, I could have I could have done that uh, ages ago with the fourth one, which is here. Fourth one, log out to character selection, get in, portal back to Siosa. The library. Talk to him, he's going to give you one gem, whichever one you, you'd like to pick up, pick up whatever. He sells gems, he's the first gem selling vendor, the next one is in Act 6, but you have to bring in the currency to him. Now, what I like to do is I like to go to the Imperial Gardens to keep the zone refreshed so it doesn't reset, because every zone resets up to 15 minutes afterwards. So, oh, hello, the Frozen Pineapple, I love the name. Welcome to the stream, thank you for the follow. So we go back to the Ebony Barracks, and you'll see now the zone should be still open. There we go. And if you click the Imperial Gardens, I have 15 minutes for the next one. Here, we go straight north. My mana is gone. So hello, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? There we go. And now Gravisius is here. You kill him. You get the rewards. I keep forgetting how tanky this guy is. There we go. We talk to Marmoa. And now we continue on. Hello. Oh, welcome. So this might actually be perfect for you. Oh, this what I'm what I'm actually doing might be perfect for you. So you continue north and you get to Lunaris Temple. What I'm doing here is I am basically recording this to show people for PoE for dummies for the for for my YouTube series that I'm making to help new players with Path of Exile I'm basically making a leveling guide well sort of technically a leveling guide just the way how to do things and and whatnot and as the previous zone the Lunaris Temple or the Solaris Temple Lunaris Temple is the same follow the red carpet but I'm glad you stopped by thank you so much if you have any questions feel free to ask I'll try to answer as, as many or if all. <laughs> all if possible, yes. Okay, this zone is dark AF. I forgot that this zone was this dark. Okay, where's Kole? That's Kole. That's Brutus. Ouch. Okay, we continue. Follow the carpet. Here, we want to get to level 2. So that's Lunaris Temple, level 2. There we go, waypoint. Nice. Lunaris Temple, level 2. And in this zone, good luck, there's a lot of dead ends. An insane amount of dead ends. A really huge amount of dead ends. And a lot of um, 
girls shooting from their tits. Stuff. Shooting stuff from their tits. I mean, it's not milk. It's not. Yes, just don't get lost, right? Right, SFK? Just don't get lost. I keep getting lost in this one. I keep hitting every single dead. Let's find stairs. Just go... Oh, so as soon as you find stairs, go in the direction where stairs point upwards. Okay. Cool. So I found stairs. Let's carry on. Let's see. Let's see if that's the case. That would make my life a lot easier. You see carts. There's two. It's dead end. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's two. Oh, that's two. My mana is gone. But it's not dead end because there's the ore. It was the other side. Yeah, I get it. Uh, last leg. A few different builds. Lost faith in D4. <laughs> How many people actually have lost faith in D4? A lot of people, I know. Oh, you mean near stairs? Ah, fair point, fair point. Dude, a lot of people have lost their, like, D4 is just a very simple game. That's basically, it's an okay game, but it's a very simple game and it's not worth the money. Okay, we get to the portal, we kill Piety. I have pursued a greater existence for us all. What have you ever done but serve yourself? I'm not up to that just yet. There we go. And Piety is gone. Now she got gave us the key. Remember where we put the key? PoE is insanely good. PoE is insanely good. Okay, we go back to the Imperial Gardens and now we go to Dominus. Mm. PoE is a really, really fun game. The problem with PoE is the ceiling to the game, if you want to learn it all, is extremely high, but if you take it one thing at a time, it's very easy. Oh yeah, you can add frost blink as well, yeah, true. This, this basically is just going to be the showcase of what to do in leveling and what not to do because i'm going to do a short version for like a video guide and i'm going to do a longer version which is going to be the just uploaded segments because i'm trying to keep these uh, sub 30 minutes or around 30 minutes per act currently i did the act one and act two both sub 30 minutes ish well act one was 30 one minutes and the act two was like 28 so i'm trying to keep them sub 30. but yeah if i if i was focusing on uh, explaining the every nook and cranny of leveling which you are correct about it would be it would just take too darn long i know that as an example cookie when he started to play he was lost where he needed to go um and uh, I decided to go with like with that kind of form. Just show people where to go, what to do, and then uh, move on from there. Okay, okay. Um, I do everything. I do everything. Yeah, the best way is exactly as SFK told you. Play how you feel. How you feel is good. That's literally it. If you want to do optionals, do optionals. If you don't, you don't have to. Like, nobody's forcing you to do anything. You can you can literally enjoy the game as much as you like. I'm just showing what I do when I level, and I basically do everything. Because in the end, there is a command that you can do that is uh, showing whether or not you have done uh, all passive points. Which is slash passives. Forward slash passives. But today I will only do act 1 through 5. I won't do 6 through 10. I'll do 6 through 10 at the end. Okay, so that's Dominus. 
It is woman's purpose to tempt and try the will of man. I'm not up to that just yet. Submit, heretic! So it's literally, if you want to do it all, do it. If you don't, you don't have to. It's, it, it really does not matter. As long as you are satisfied with it. I just don't like to God see unfinished God. quests in my inventory. He does touch of God, run away. This world. Yeah, unfinished things just bug me as well. Oh, this one is going to be 31 minutes as well. Yeah, I sometimes do it in 3, sometimes do it in 5, sometimes do it in 7. Well, 3, it's like 4. 4, 8, 12, depending on, on the day. Depending on the gear as well, depending on what I like to do and, and whatnot and yada yada. There we go. And now you're going to, to see the um, the whatever. Try not what's it? What's her name? Diala. And she is now here. So that's Act 3. Cities are a blight.